What about if someone's allergic to peanuts, like very deathly allergic? Is that that truly just g- genetic? No, really, it's not genetic. Really, you're saying it's like a s- similar the, mechanism? Yes, allergies, even food allergies, has skyrocketed in the last 20, 30 years. Now everybody's allergic. New people that used to be allergic years ago. It's all having to do with the foods that were the quality of the food, the type of foods we're feeding children, and the fact that um, child should be prolonged breastfeeding. Is, is protective and um, and of course the right diet from the mother and the right diet in the child the prolonged breastfeeding exposure to a wide variety of foods so we used to think that don't expose a child to nuts in the first two years of life and now we, we know that actually exposing your child to nuts and peanuts earlier in life while they're still getting breast milk and the mother is exposed to the same foods you're feeding the child so the mother's eating peanuts the mother's eating these foods are so-called allergic, and the body and the child's getting the protective antibodies to these foods from the breast milk. So it's natural for a child to be breastfed for about two years of life. They're they're exclusively breastfed for six months, but they occasionally have a sip, you know, at night or once a day, twice a day, because the human immune system doesn't fully develop till two years. So we're still benefit. So the child's getting benefit from the mother's milk mm-hmm. up to two years of age, mm-hmm. and the gut which is, is porous. It's more leaky when you're a child because that's, it's leaky on purpose to allow your, your immune system hasn't developed yet. So you're taking in the immunoglobins from mother's breast milk, from the mother's making the immune system. Wow. And as the baby's immune system develops over years, t- two years, then you don't need the mother's antibodies and antigens and antibodies anymore because your gut closes up as your immune system develops. So the rate of immune system development is proportional to the closing of the digestive tract and the lack of need of breast milk, of the mother's immunoglobins in the breast milk. Wow. So when you're exposed to f- new food antigens and the mother's exposed to those foods, you're getting the protective antigens from your mother when you're eating the food because she's eating the same food. That's how you really protect the kid against asthma, against allergies, not by pushing the food away, but by letting him eat the food when he's young and have the mother eat the food too because young enough, so the breast milk, is still getting the breast milk from the mother's exposed to the same foods. Wow. So, so this is a, a new concept, but it's the most effective way to have a healthy child. Right. Even though people don't like to eat healthy, they don't like to feed their kid healthy, they don't like to nurse the kids long enough, they want to, you know, they but they pay a price for all that. Right. And I think it's important to recognize, I mean, what you feed it, medications, you want to learn all about that. But beyond that, <laughs> I had a good question, I swear. It <laughs> lost me. It's Hold confusing because you follow your doctors and you follow what everybody else is doing. Yeah. And you just you keep bringing your kids to the pediatrician and he gives you more drugs and he puts you on more antibiotics and, and it's not, you're not, and people are, people get sicker and sicker and sicker. 